This is Chris Linford, Co.uk, uh, and we're looking at WordPress uh, tutorials at this point. And this tutorial is about looking at managing users on your site. It's possible to get people to uh, register with your site and to manage their uh, user systems, but sometimes you want more people to work on your site than just you as an individual or you as an admin person. And you can give people different rights on what they want to do. So if we click on users, if we look at all users at the moment, you'll see that we've just got myself as an administrator uh, logged in there. And it tells me what I've done uh, at that point. But I can add a new one. I can also change my profile uh, if I want. and I can put pictures in and all sorts of uh, different things uh, there. But we're going to add a new user. So we'll give it a username. So I'm just going to call it Chris. I'm going to give it um, uh, an email address, so chris at chrislinford.co.uk and I can give it a first name and a last name. Uh, website, uh, you don't need to put this in but we'll put it in anyway and then you put in a password so that's not a very good password and you put it in twice so, um, so uh, it should be at least seven characters long. So there we go, and then I'll do it again. So each user can have their own passwords. You can send the user that password. Then you can decide what rights they've got. So they could be a subscriber, or they could be an administrator, or so on. And they can go down to admin, and it or creator and it just depends what they can do. What you want to do is not give only one administrator. Administrator means they can do anything they like on the site. If they're a contributor they can just make articles and things or an editor just change articles. Um, just allow, give people a function, play around with it. If you need more functions tell them to email you and then you can decide whether to up their scale or not. So you can decide what you want to do with that. When you're happy with it you just click new user or add user at that point and oh, telling me I've already registered that email so I can't do that one but uh, and then the new user will appear in the user list and then they can log on with their own logon details and start to do what they're allowed to do on your site this allows many people to work and contribute to a site at the same time it's very easy you and to get rid of them you can just delete them uh, if they no longer working for you so it's very easy to manage users. This is Chris Linford at www.chrislinfordco.uk. You can find me on iTunes and YouTube for more tutorials. And I hope to see you again. <laughs>